Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Mora here doing a right knee arthroscopy surgery. So if you look down over here, you can see that my camera is inside the knee. It's a camera with a light cord. It shines the light inside the knee like a flashlight. And it pumps water into the knee to blow it up like a water balloon so that then we can look and explore throughout the knee. This gentleman, highly active gentleman, had pain on the inner side of his knee, the inner side of the knee. And I was going to show the medial meniscus tear. And uh, one, one question the patient asked was, hey, what happens if I don't do anything about my meniscus tear? I said, well, in some cases, and this is what I tell patients, if there's clicking and catching of the knee, clicking and catching, this is what might be happening. And this is a great example. Let me show you where we are. Medial side of the knee, cartilage. This is the joint space. ACL is over there, looks gorgeous. Here's the meniscus. You see this flip up fragment right here. So clicking and catching. Why does clicking and catching happen? Because of this, you see, it goes like that. And then it goes like this. And that's how I found it. So when it does that over and over and over, what ends up happening is damage occurs to the joint, like right here. So this joint damage, degeneration is being caused by this meniscus rubbing that spot over and over. And, and in this particular case, there was damage being caused by the meniscus tear. So what I'm planning on doing is taking care of this meniscus tear. It's just going to be a little trimming right here happening, and the patient will no longer have the clicking and catching. That's what we're doing today, trimming of a little meniscus tear that was damaging the joint. You guys, uh, take care. Thank you.